Hello YouTube, Rocket 3 here, back with another kicking action figure review. Today we've got another DC Universe Classics figure, and a figure I've been wanting a really long time, and normally I was seeing it for like 25 bucks, and I was like, I don't want to pay that for this figure. And then I found her at a comic book store for 12 and I also picked up a Wonder Woman alongside of her that I also got for a pretty good price. But yeah, as you can see, the figure is the DC Universe Classics Power Girl. Yeah, she's from one of the uh, earlier waves. She's kind of an old figure. Old, older figure, I wouldn't say old. She's not vintage or anything. But uh, she does come with one thing. It's collect and collect piece. It's the left leg of Imperiex. You know. Whatever. I probably won't build him. So, yeah. I do want the man bat from this wave, though. But anyways, back to the Power Girl. I've been really wanting this figure for a long time. I really dig the character of Power Girl, and not for the reason you might think, but that is a perk, so whatever. <laughs> yeah, Power Girl. All right, so let's take a look at this figure. Um, let's do articulation first. How's that sound to you guys? All right? Awesome. Well, the head goes side to side, and down a little bit, but not really up, which is kind of sucky because she's a flying character, but I'm never going to have her displayed that way, so it won't really affect my reading. And I did, I did say side to side, right? I don't remember. So there you go, side to side. And uh, up and down on the arm, forward and back. You've got a bicep joint, elbow bend, wrist swivel. And then you have an ab crunch, which I love because on lots of female DC Universe Classic figure, we have this like oval joint that's really difficult to move and awkward and I hate it, but they gave her an ab crunch, which I like. Then we got a waist joint. And then uh, on the female figures, the crotch pits and stuff are always so much less obvious. I just want to point that out, because on male figures, you see they have all that, but on females, it's like just perfect. You do have some pits though, but uh, in and out, forward, back, and then you got a thigh swivel right there. Knee bend, foot articulation, and just like most earlier DC Universe classics, an ankle pivot. Got that ankle rocker, which is really great and makes posing a lot easier. But yeah, now how about we get into detail and paint job? Alright, so DC Universe classics figures usually had pretty good head sculpts for women. I mean, this Power Girl head sculpt's really nice. The hair, it's all really great all the way around. Looks really nice, and the face is done really well. More than I can say for the face of the uh, New 52 Wonder Woman. But hey, what you gonna do? And I really like the cape. She's just got this small cape with this gold strap, which is a separate piece, but the cape's on her. And then, of course, they went out of their way to make her breasts bigger, because they always, in the comics, make jokes about Power Girl's enormous jugs. So... There you guys go. Knew you were waiting for it. But uh, yeah, the costume's nice and very clean white. You've got the detailing on the gloves, like the wrinkles. I like the skin tone. It's a really good skin tone on her. And detail on the boots. But yeah, not much detail to be done. Because, I mean, she's just kind of has a really basic costume, you know. And the story be that in the comics that's behind the... Uh, the gaping hole there is that she wanted to have an emblem like Superman, because Superman was kind of her mentor. She wanted to have an emblem like Superman, but she could never decide what it was, so she just left a blank spot there to sew one on, and she could just never figure out what one was, so she just left it blank. <laughs> That's pretty funny, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, and now how about we get into some size comparisons? Now here's Carl with uh, some House of L members. <laughs> But yeah, here she is with Supergirl, who currently is, she's just an alternate dimension version of Supergirl. But uh, yeah, she's a bit bigger than uh, Supergirl, as you can see, but I think they're fine, you know. I don't really care. I think they look good together. And then here she is with the DC Unlimited, well no, not DC Unlimited, DC All-Star New 52 Superman. Sorry, sometimes I say Unlimited on accident with him, because the same sculpt and everything, just different paint job. Maybe a different head sculpt, can't quite remember, but. Yeah, All-Star New 52 Superman, and in the New 52, he hasn't found her and mentored her, unless that's happened in Huntress and Power Girl World's Finest. 
but I don't think it has because I got I had the I have the first issue of the world's finest Huntress and Power Girl, and I've been reading New Fifty Two Superman, so I'm pretty sure they haven't interacted. But I know she and Supergirl have interacted. I don't know. I'm not really keeping up with Supergirl. The only Supergirls I've read were from a uh, Hell on Earth. But anyways, enough rambling. Yeah, I think she scales up well with Superman. She's a little taller than her, and they work out great. Now, here's Power Girl with some of my Movie Masters figures. Now, here she is with my newest Movie Master, my Superman from the Man of Steel Movie Masters line. Which are a bit bigger than the Batman and Green Lantern ones, but... You know, they're actually the same height. But... They shouldn't be the same height. But they are the same height, so... If it doesn't bother you, then it's fine, but... They, they're not supposed to be. She's supposed to be shorter than him. So it doesn't really scale up too well. But it's probably the closest the Movie Master is going to get. Since you can see that the Catwoman over here from the Dark Knight Rises. Goggles down version. Is, um... Obviously way too small. Because she's shorter than Power Girl. And, uh... No one likes Anne Hathaway anyways. So... Whatever. But yeah, she doesn't scale up well with Movie Masters. Now here's Power Girl from DC Directs. And, um... I don't really know what to say, because she is a female character, and I believe throughout comic history she's been portrayed as different ages. So, she might scale up well with the Hawk. It just depends on, on how big you want your female characters to be, on how much you want your Power Girl to be. And then there's the Dove. My brightest day Dove. And I don't think she scales up well with the Dove at all, but... I could probably... Like, teenage... Power Girl, maybe, with the Hawk, but other than that, no. So, um, yeah, maybe scale up some with the male DC Directs, just if you want to see her as the teenage Power Girl, but not the female ones. That's not going to work out. So all in all, what do I have to say about the DC Universe Classics Power Girl? Well, she's a pretty cool figure. In the Imperial X wave, comes with his uh, left leg. And I just, I really love Power Girl. Cool character. And she scales up well with your other DC Universe Classics, DC Unlimited, All-Star figures. And even though she doesn't really scale up well with Movie Masters or female DC Direct figures, she could probably pass with some of the male DC Direct figures. And her articulation's fine. She actually has a little bit better articulation than most of our Mattel figures because she has that ankle rocker. I think I only have, like, three Mattel figures with that ankle rocker. And one of them's a collecting connect, so that one doesn't even count. But, um, yeah, she's a really cool figure. Highly recommended. And other than the fact that she can't look up, I can't think of anything that's wrong with her. Not really a thing. She scales up well with who she's supposed to, and... Even possibly someone she's not even supposed to scale up well with. So I want to give this Power Girl figure 5 out of 5 stars. I love her. I think she's a fantastic figure. I highly recommend getting her. And that's it. So yeah, 5 out of 5 stars. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And check out all the cool links in the description below. You got Facebook. And then our second channel, Twitter, we'll follow you back on Twitter, mycomicsplus.net, and a coupon code for mycomicsplus.net. I get all my DC Directs there, all my Marvel Select. It's a really great place. So, um, yeah, that's it, you guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later.